So we've talked about it a little before. My worst night cruising ever was on the Carnival Elation. Who was that lady behind me? On the Carnival Elation, it was the night of the flood. Uh, this was back in 2018, and I've got some footage I've never released before. So uh, let's relive the memory. I'll be here to give commentary. Let's return to the Carnival Elation and talk about the flood. This is the ship that was next to us in the Nassau Bahamas. It was a Tui ship, Mine Sheaf. First time I'd ever seen one of those. Uh, stumbled across this footage, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, this, I miss those blue skies. But anyways, uh, the worst night ever on a cruise, the flood. <laughs> Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lida Loca. My name's Tony. I make these cruising videos with my wife, Jenny. If you're into cruising and travel content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. Well, yeah, I'll set the stage a little bit. This is October 2018, our first La Lida Loca Halloween group cruise. We gathered people together. We were having a great time, and uh, we made it all the way to the end of the cruise. Between night four and five, just a five-day cruise, We'd been out, we'd had a good time with people, and we went back to our cabin after spending some time in the casino. I, I went there first. I left Jenny in the casino, my wife Jenny. And uh, when I got back to the cabin, uh, there was uh, water pouring out of the ceiling. So this was uh, the beginning of what was going to be a long night. Uh, let me roll some footage. I've cut together some footage. There's going to be some stuff that showed up in the vlogs, and there's also going to be some stuff that has never been seen before. So let's uh, let's check it out together. All right, so we're going to start here in the cabin. Let me just say this real quick, though. Uh, I was hesitant to release some of this footage back in 2018 because uh, we were kind of new to the cruising space, and I was kind of shocked at how many people were anti-carnival and very vocal about it. I thought that was like some normal thing going there. And when this happened to us, I didn't want to add any fuel to the fire. I'd had a lot of good experiences on Carnival, and I didn't really feel this uh, this anger that other people seem to have toward Carnival. What I've come to realize in the last couple of years is that's just a thing. Uh, some people don't like Pepsi. Some people don't like Coke, and they're happy to fight about it, whatever. Uh, but that's what I learned. And the other thing that I learned is stuff like this happens on all cruise lines. So this isn't a Carnival-specific thing. It just happened to happen to us on a Carnival ship. And so, yeah, I didn't really release the footage at the time because I didn't want to paint Carnival in a bad light because I felt like enough people were doing that. And I don't really think that this paints Carnival in a bad light. It's a huge machine. Stuff happens. And, uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. But anyways, uh, back to the video. So this is what our cabin looked like when we first got there. I'll give you a couple seconds of that uh, at the beginning of the group cruise. The Jenny looking through some stuff. And then here it is. So, you know, we went out to the casino. We came back. And uh, this water was flooding. Now, again, I don't know how strong a language to use here. Is this fair to call it a flood? It's a leak. Uh, the water was not stopping flowing. When I got back to the cabin, there was stuff all over the bed. We'd been to a, uh, a, like a costume event. Everybody was wearing their costumes the night before our official costume party. So I had on like an 80s mullet wig. This was on the bed. I had some camera stuff on the bed. And uh, so pretty quickly when I got in, I, it's funny, I opened the cabin door, it was pitch black, and I heard this water running and I thought, oh, Jenny must be back and must be in the shower. Then I realized she wasn't there. I turned on the light and this is what I got. Uh, so yeah, this is the footage that hasn't really been seen. Just a little bit's been seen, but I'll let it run. Uh, to me, it feels a little more dramatic the longer it runs because you start to get the sense of like, yes, there's just water falling on the bed. But, it, you know, it's not like a deluge or anything like that, but left unchecked. This could be pretty, pretty bad. So what I was going through at this time is I, I got on the phone. I called the front desk. Hey, I've got a leak. And then I was just kind of there waiting for somebody to show up. I think after I called them, I texted Jenny, who was in the casino. And I said, hey, you got to come back to the room. It's kind of a mess. Uh, somebody did show up, stripped off the first le level of bedding uh, and pulled that off to the side. And then the conversation kind of began what are we going to do? Obviously, we can't stay in this room. Uh, go to customer service. They're going to give you another room. We have the question, what are we going to do with our stuff? And, uh, yeah, it began like a two- or three-hour odyssey that uh, we weren't really sure how it was going to work out. But uh, here, here's some of how we were feeling at the time. And uh, there's a leak. 
so we are uh, we're dealing with that. But uh, more to come on that story later. I'm yeah. trying to look Pretty positive, exciting. I think. <laughs> Never That's the lady that was stuff. helping us. Never seen anything like this. Yeah. I'm sure she wasn't excited. We were filming. All right, so they put us in this ocean view room, and listen to how excited Jenny was. Where are you at? Oh, we're in an ocean view cabin. <laughs> we got upgraded. She wasn't excited. Did we? <laughs> little unedited. This is All what right, vlogging so looks like. You're trying to get the shot. So it's like How do, is it in focus? 120 exactly. What time is it? Okay, here we go. On the dot, uh, our room was flooded. We grabbed a few essentials and left the rest of our stuff in the room. That's interesting. And they gave us another room, R140. The f so we've moved from the The funny thing is, uh, part of uh, any it's husband's job is to keep the wife calm. I'm pretty excited at how is. calm so, Jenny is. Uh, a little weird uh, she's not putting a show there. on they for they the camera. She stayed pretty calm, but, stuff, but I kept just telling her that's that cruise life. That's I think this this might be where that phrase came up for me because I was like, I didn't know what else to say, but yeah, it happens. It's that cruise life. We're going to room down on deck four and see how this turns out. So, uh... Look at Jenny. And it's super hot in here. It is pretty hot in here. So <laughs> it was super know, hot. No AC in, in that room. But it wasn't working. Anyways, it wouldn't be until uh, hours later the, uh, the next day that we got the AC be. working. We had to sleep in that room. And then the cool thing about that night is I was able to jump up and actually go out and get some early morning Lido. If you go watch the actual vlog from this, there's about a minute of this early morning Lido stuff that really... Uh, when I watched it back recently, it really inspired me. Like, that's why I like vlogging. So I went back to the room after the early morning Lido, and uh, this is when it really looks bad. Look, our luggage is still there, all of this stuff of ours. We just left, like, a lot of valuable things in that room overnight, just took a small bag. Uh, after I checked on, on the room, I went to check in on Jenny, and, again, I love Jenny's reaction here. This is probably some of my favorite uh, Jenny moments. She's here getting coffee, and, uh, of course, I put her to the test. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Do you want, how do you want me to answer that? I think cooler now. <laughs> oh, cooler. <clears throat> One more check of the room. We've got most of our stuff packed up at this point. It's like a, it's like a scene from The Walking Dead. That may be too extreme, but look, it, it does look like something bad's going on. But they're trying to dry off the floor. Uh, we, yeah, so the, it, All right, let me pause it right here. I'll set the stage. So, uh... You know, we called customer service. We slept in the hot room all night. So we called them and said, look, it's still hot in here. All of our stuff is still in this other room. And they're like, well, you called it exactly the wrong time. There's a team meeting going on right now. Nobody can help you move your stuff. And I was like, at the least, can you just send us a cart? Uh, I didn't want to wait any longer. It was a big day for us. It was the last day of the cruise, and we saved some major events. We had like a putt-putt and a cornhole competition. And uh, we had our Halloween costume contest. And we realized in that moment we shouldn't have scheduled everything on the same day. And it was just the worst circumstance. We didn't really get any sleep. We were concerned all night about our stuff. We had all these activities to do during the day. We wanted everybody to have a great time. We wanted to be in a great mood for it. And we just wanted to get the rest of our stuff out. So they did provide us with a cart. Uh, I've never really released the full uh, cart from one room to the other. Uh, it's pretty comical because it didn't get any better trying to get our stuff there. So uh, here was our reaction at the time after getting the cart loaded and then the cart trip to uh, the other room. Adventure continues. It is... Let me give you a time check. There's worse things that could happen in life. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so it's about 8, 12 in the morning. Uh, we stayed in a room with no AC last night, and this morning they told us we needed to move all of our stuff from this room <laughs> to the no AC room. So that's what we're Same doing. Same clothes we had uh, on the night hopefully before. Hopefully they fixed the AC, but we're moving all of our stuff. Just repacked our suitcases. They gave us a cart, and now we're rolling that down to uh, to four. What is it? R R140. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, I'm ready to get out of these clothes, but hopefully we get some AC. But yeah, that's a uh, it's been an adventure. So here we go. Track along with us. It's a big day today. C day. Jenny's working the coffee. I got the camera, the cart. Okay, I've got water. I've got water. It doesn't go all over. Oh, it should be okay. Here, get on that bag. Yeah, the bag's pretty secure. It's the caramels. It's the caramels that took us. Huh? Okay, we got it. I think we have it. <sighs> now we go to the no AC room. It's not Come glamorous, this part of the cruise life. <laughs>
You never know what's gonna happen on a cruise. Go Just gotta go with it. Go Gotta go with the flow. <laughs> These little man, the whatever you call it, the the door frames were just a disaster for that cart. I feel like it was a walk of shame, but we didn't really do anything other than the, you know, our, our roof caving in on us. I think at this point, I don't even think the AC is still working. It was still hot when we finally got back to our cabin, but at least we had all of our stuff together. All right, I'll pause it right here. The The funny thing is, it was that last day when you had to repack anyway, so, you know, we were kind of already packed up, and I told Jenny, are we going to unpack for just one day? And we decided not to, but, look, you know, stuff happens. Uh, I, the, the next clip is really what was important to us. Uh, it was at the end of our costume contest, and uh, for the first time ever, we got a group of people onto a cruise ship all around the idea of La Lita Loca and hanging out as the uh, family. And uh, th this next moment really erased all of it for us. Uh, we're kind of fighting back the emotion a little bit, but this was at the end of the costume contest. And uh, we, we got a see on the Lido from the whole gang. And it, uh, it really brought it home for us while we're doing this cruise life and kind of what it is to be a part of community. So uh, that's the setup for the next clip. Jenny, that was the first ever La Lita Loca Halloween costume on the first ever La Lita Loca group cruise here on the Carnivalation. What do you think? I mean, how amazing. It's amazing. Super yeah. excited and super Do we thankful. like my red hair? Should I go red hair? I think you look good, uh, Rainbow. Rainbow, <laughs> Rainbow Sprite. Sprite. Yeah. So, man, so thankful for everybody who came out. It's, uh, it's really crazy and humbling. And so, uh, yeah, it's great. See you on the yeah, so that was it. I mean, that was, it, you know, yeah, and you just put it in perspective. I mean, we were on a cruise ship. Uh, that's a blessing in its own right. We are with a group of people that wanted to be with us. That was a, That's a blessing in its own right. And, yeah, sometimes stuff goes sideways. So you can't complain too bad. It's stressful in the moment. I mean, it, it, you know, I don't think anybody's like Superman with their emotions over here. There were some moments uh, during that time trying to get all of our stuff over there and trying to get that room cooled off and trying to deal with the whole fact that it was flooded out or, you know, the water was falling from the ceiling. Yeah, definitely some stressful moments and a whole day's worth of activities where you wanted all these people that were so kind to show up and cruise with you. You wanted them to have a good time even though you weren't having a great day. It's hard to say I had a bad time on a cruise ship, but uh, still, if pushed to the question, what was your worst experience on the cruise ship, I would think it would be uh, this night. And if that's my worst experience, then none of it's really uh, that bad. <laughs> What's been your worst experience cruising? Do you have any nightmare stories or has it all just been good? I hope that's your answer. Leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this look back at our cruise on the Carnival Elation. I'll leave a link to all the other Carnival Elation vlogs here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please show your support for the channel by hitting that like button. Uh, thank you again. My name's Tony for La Lida Loca. And until the next time, Jose on the Lido. Bye.